Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I'm going to give you what I'm going to call the Cardboard Tablet Stand Challenge. I'm going to teach you how to design a cool little tablet stand, and I'm going to give you this project link in Tinkercad. Uh, it's not going to be good. I'm intentionally giving you one that is not perfect. And my goal is for you to take the idea and turn it into a good tablet stand. They can be printed out of cardboard, or once you've got it mastered, you can print it with any materials. So first, the idea is simple. These pieces slide together, and then when it sits like this, if you get it built right and aimed right, it'll actually hold the tablet. And then when you're done, you can take it apart and just go about your merry way. So let me take you to Tinkercad where the little design is, and then you can start adjusting it to make it so it's perfect, and then cut it on your own Glowforge. So to find the design, simply visit Tinkercad. And when you get to Tinkercad, we're gonna use the search option. I, of course, have us all sign in using Google. And the social providers option. And then up in the top right, I want you to find that search. And then we type tablet stand starter. Right now it's sorted by likes. I want the latest. Eventually, hopefully, we'll get enough likes so you can help by getting that heart so that way it shows up initially. But when you click on the tablet stand starter, you can simply hit copy and tinker and you'll be in the design just like that. All right, my friends, this is the tablet stand starter. Uh, I made this up really quick. Let me explain what the design has. Currently there's a rectangle with a radius of two, so that gives me the rounded corners. I wanted to make sure it didn't have the beveled edge though, so I created this hole that when I group it, gives me a cross section, which is good for the laser printing SVG. I've got two little slots right here that I've got set to, I think, five millimeters wide. And then the goal is to slide the second piece of cardboard into the first piece of cardboard and that locks it in place. This design does not work perfect and I want you to take the time to figure out ways to make it cooler. Maybe make the second piece separate, maybe add a third piece, maybe add holes so that you can put your cords through it so that your phone could sit in here and charge while it was sitting. Note that since I'm slicing this cross section, when I group this, I need to hit D so it drops back down to the level so I'm ready for the next part. When you've got your design created, making sure that it's different than what I already gave you if you're in my classroom. If you're out in the world, you can do whatever you want. But if you're in my classroom, make sure that you've got a custom design. Make sure that you get me to approve it so I can quickly check and see if there's anything silly. And then for us to cut these on the Glowforge, we need to choose export and we export as an SVG. We need to take this file and go to the desktop empty tools and choose the STL files folder and in that folder simply put your initials after tablet stand if you have two parts so I'm gonna put an MDH on mine put an A for the first part and put a B for the second part if you have three parts add a C if you're on attempt number two just put a two after it so that you can keep track of how your attempts are going. So just to wrap up, when you finish, designs can be so much more snug. And check this out. This is actually the design holding a phone. Our angles are not perfect here. This does not do quite like we, what we want. So you can see we're making progress. It's still not perfect, but you can see we've got a locking mechanism. It's still pretty twisty and turny, but it's got potential. And the fun part of this is that you are creating the working design that does what it's supposed to. So hey, my friends, if you found this useful, if you had fun with it, please hit that like button. If you've got a question or a comment, add it down below, even a suggestion for what our next training should be. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know this brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.